Oh, yes. Big Need a tier 10 game. version. Bigger race. <laughs> Let's see. So, just to remind everybody, if a restart mm -hmm. happens, the teams must bring their same lineups. There could be no changes. That's right. That's right. Now, they can choose to go different places, but they can't bring different ships. So one of the things that is, I'm sure, being checked right now by the refs is, uh-huh, do they have the same lineup? You know, they'll screenshot it, all that good stuff. So we did mention Shaft's. Like yep. So reminder, Shaft's lineup, Kremlin, Ohio, uh, Des Moines, Nevsky, Salem, Moskva, Nevsky, and Minotaur. So they're bringing all the hit points they can and a single gearing for Destroyer. That being said, so Vore is bringing Monty. Hey, I don't think I've seen a Montana no, yet. We have not. Surprisingly enough. Um, Kremlin, Des Moines, Gudenlu, Napoli, double Moskvas, and double Daring. Mm hmm. And if you look at the hit points, I mean, there, there's only 8,000 hit points differentiating the two. Yeah, so... the, um, the cruiser selection from Shaft compared to the. Uh, Cruiser selection from Vore means the actual difference is not a lot. Yes, those big tanky Moskvas taking up, uh, adding a lot of hit points back to uh, Team Vore. Yes, they do. Um, but, see. but we've got a Minotaur and a Salem, both of which have super duper heals. So, effective hit points might be even uh, stronger uh, for Shaft, assuming Shaft can use those hit points properly and not just get smacked off the face of the earth by mistakes so if we take a very early look at the map just for the initial deployments mm -hmm. um vor is actually sending both of their destroyers to the east um yep. along with a significant amount of their entire team um gudenlu moskva double moskvas and the kremlin so that is that that can only be a push you don't send that many ships somewhere unless there is uh -huh. a point. Um, yep. Especially considering they have both of their destroyers there. They're seeding the entire western side of the map. I mean, gearing is going to have free reign at A. The Napoli and Montana can only be passive. And especially considering there's two Nevskis, once Shaft kind of realizes what's going on, which might take a while, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not... Shaft isn't going to know this push is coming for quite a while. Um Moskvas nope. and the Kremlin are very far back. As and a reminder, both teams cannot see each other right now. We can see them all. Yeah, and so this Minotaur right now, I mean, he may get lit by the Daring. Um, so they're going to know there's one destroyer there at the sea cap. Um, yep, and look at Renegade's single fire torps. There's the radar. Yeah, so and the radar's going up. They don't know there's a Gudenlu there yet. So we're going to see a salva from the Gudenlu come in. Um, they, again, this is the edit. the teams are just co getting contact with one another. Oh, Dar big Ooh, hit! Um, and that's going to push the daring off the sea cap for now. Oh yeah. Uh, given Shaft is sending their Salem, the Kremlin, and their Moscow over there, um, I'm not sure. I don't think the daring is going to be able to spot the Salem in time for him to get caught out. But that might be a thing that happens depending mm -hmm. on where the Salem ends up. People like to send Salem's to these islands over there, and they do run the risk if they just park a Salem somewhere. They, they still don't know. There's all these ships coming this way. So right. if the Salem's still there, well, surprise, it's Russia. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we're, so we're with the classic now and coming around this island. Shaq, mm -hmm. Vor is going to know that, hey, the Kremlin from the other team is here. The Moscow from the other team is here. They might see the Moscow, but they might not. But um, yep. Minotaur does need to be very careful here. Um, well, so Golden Lion Minotaur do exchange pleasantries for a moment there as uh, they see each other. But so the thing I would be concerned about as that Minotaur is actually the Montana. Oh, dude, he's um, got his planes up. Here's his shots. <laughs> no, the Montana is actually going even farther. He's going after the uh, Moscow. Moscow. Woo. Moskva, Moskva, da, 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 da. And miss. But yeah, that's, that's it. these are long shots. So, but again, that's gonna, Renegade is, oh, Renegade is lit again. 
the radar. Uh, That's the radar Moscow's coming radar. Out from the Moscow lights him. It might get might permit the Minotaur to get shots on him uh, if he's ready. He is. Here's the shells. Pushed again, off the cap it's again. Prevent the C cap. Uh, but this Minotaur is going to be on borrowed time. At a certain point, there's going to be enough firepower coming around this island that they're going to have to pull the Minnow away. Um, yep. They know the Mosque is coming. They know the sail. They, they the Mosque was lit. The Kremlin's not lit, but they they can infer at this point. Classic noun is lit way out on the side. Um, Mosque is going to have to be very careful. As is the Salem because of these very very long range shells coming in. Um, yeah. Yeah. They, wow. In the meantime, Thick Shaft has kind of realized, hey, wait, there's nothing at A. Um, yep. Now that everything is lit, there it's go time. You know the mm -hmm. other team is making conceited ooh, airstrikes. That's actually a good idea on some of these islands. And again, we have <laughs> so that he's looking up, not looking out. He's like, Oh no, there's an airstrike. Meanwhile, the Montana although the Salvo did hit the island. Um, only one shell even made it past. Right. But you're right. That, that causes a little distraction. You're, you're focused on other things. And the problem with the Salem, of course, being here is you, you've got these single fire daring torps coming and you've got a Kremlin that's going to punch you in the face right about now. Or, or not. <laughs> so the thing that needs that, the thing... So what's going to happen right here? Um, Montana's actually been backed off a bit. Yep. And so Shaft's Kremlin needs to get into a place where he can try and do as much damage to anything that pushes around this island as he possibly can. And he is. There's single fire torps coming in to counter that. Um, whether or not those land could decide a significant amount of what happens here. Salem's being forced back. There's probably more Montana shells coming in, even though he doesn't have a spotter plane. It might yep. actually be too far. Yeah, I don't think he has range. Yep. But yeah, the push is happening. Um, Meanwhile, other side of the map, Shaft pushing up. They have a gearing with two Nevskis. Uh, the, the Napoli hasn't even been lit on that side of the map. He just got nope. lit the first time this game. So, I mean, that's their death nail. And death nail you put out there because you want to be pushed at that position. And they weren't. So now they have to spend a lot of time relocating that death nail. Exit displays um, pulled back around the island in the Moskva. He made a turn out. That was a risky proposition, that turn. Um, single fire torps did push shafts. Uh, they did push Bert back in mm -hmm. his uh, Kremlin to the point. And so Exodus is still getting shot in the side by this AP. And I don't know if getting shots here is worth the risk right now. Um, the Kremlin no longer can shoot him, though. So all the fires coming in on this Moscow right now, but equally the crossfires coming in from other places. Yeah. I almost feel like Moffel at this point, just needs to charge the Kremlin and ram him. Um, he's choosing not to, though. No, and so the thing is, um, based on where Yenya goes... Um, oh, actually, Moffel's choosing to... Uh, oh, I like that, actually. He's choosing to charge the Moskva. Um, uh -huh. So the thing is, with the improved AP angles, he's probably not going to get a second shot on, and I don't think he's going to get a ram, because I don't think he has a... Oh, 44 right hit now. points! Oh, he does it! Did. He did it! He got it! <laughs> oh my god! How? <laughs> and then and then his teammate takes team torpedoes up the butt. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but um, so now Vert's the one who's going to come under fire from all over the place. Oh, absolutely, um, yes. We've got oh Montana in the background. Best now does take torpedoes from the gearing, and again, mm -hmm. Ford gave up the entire west half of the map. We're talking everything from the six line over. Um, they put everything into this push on this 9-10 line. And, and it's now stalled. It's very stalled. And yes, they're going to probably get Vert. But you've got a minute, <laughs> open watering Minotaur sending shells in at Yenya. Um, oh my god, you're right. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at this, man. taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got Moskva shells coming in. You've got Vert. Vert's still got tons of HP. Oh, he's um, fine. I mean, yes, Classic Noun is probably going to try and push and single torp him. But honestly, will it be enough to save Yenya? I don't think it will. Honestly, I think that both of these darings <sighs> should be coming in and torping from both sides. And meanwhile, look at the uh, concerted fire going in on Best Noun as well. Yeah. Double he's... Nevskis. you got an Ohio chipping in. You've got a Des Moines chipping in. The Des Moines does need to be careful in the middle, though. He's driving across the front of, say, like a Moskva and other ships. 
Mm-hmm. Montana can still send shots at him. Um, they yep. know Classic Noun is there now. Vert's proxy spotted. Vienna is still alive on a 10,000 HP, though. Oh, here comes the here comes the charge. Yep, and I think it's, it might even be the same people this time. Um, right? Oh, they get uh, the kill! They get the kill! Yet again, Daring pushing to single-fire twerp a Kremlin. Um, still got 3,000 HP, but he is radared right now. There's shells coming in. But... Right. They, they get Oof, it. And oh. the shot by Exodus takes him out and yeah. the Montana. And that puts... Um, that's going to put Nebeski in a really sketchy situation. Um, yep. Single Des Moines, alone. <laughs> Gets the world. Right? Um, <laughs> Ohio to the Ohio face. Driving into his face, Des Moines. Um, so again, Shaft, going to have to be a little measured. Don't get too crazy. Um, right. Well, they need to take time to relocate their Minotaur in Moscow that got pushed yeah. all the way back up to the sea and uh, bee lines. Uh, Napoli, meanwhile, kind of asked Asphodelus and like, hey, I'm, I'm still here, guys. I exist. Shoot uh, me instead of my teammate. Yeah. And they're like, nope. We're, we're shooting near Des Moines. Here comes we're the gonna... salvo. <clears throat> yeah. That does not do a whole lot of damage, but you've got shells coming in from the side from the Nevskis as well now. It's just a matter of time. Yep. Um, the push from Vore completely negated over the 9-10 line between the ram just trading um yep daring going down to the radar i'm, I'm curious how much the minotaur contributed to it in there <clears throat> yep are we gonna see the kill here we go this is the kill yeah. shot right here Quack. with that shot i mean shaft up 500 points two caps to one the napoli i mean <laughs> As much as yeah. I, I, I would joke about some superhero kills both uh, Nevskis and the gearing, I mean, not impossible, yeah. but not likely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I do like this play by the Moskva coming around here. The question well, is... All they all they can do at this point, I mean, they're, they, they're waiting for him, though. Um, that that yep. shot did not do that much. Um, I know. I was expecting more. <laughs> And so they've got Renegade coming around the south side of the island, but I mean, he is lit too. There's a radar yeah. and or Hydra running at this point. Um, so can he pull off Torps on the Des Moines? Des Moines just sitting and waiting for him to come at him. This is when YBB needs to be moving forward, I think. But I think he's too afraid of taking a ram here because he has to survive. But Ooh, and they're that, both looking at Renegade. That allows the, the battleship player, Pepega, to turn his guns on Renegade. And Renegade um, went down... To the yeah. point that he wasn't even able to get his torps off. There are cross shots coming over the island. He does take a bit of damage from those. Ooh, Kamikaze, speaking of which. The Nevsky is fighting the uh, mm -hmm. Napoli. He's, he, I think he's going to at least get one of them. Uh, it's looking like it, yeah. And there <sighs> goes the Moskva. No Shaft, ram, what are you? Shaft is starting to close that door shut. That's it. And I think uh, I think this might be our death pick right here. Let's get set up for it. Um, it's got all that fire going on the Nevsky right now. Don't think there's much happening elsewhere. <laughs> no, no, that's why we're just kind of covering this. You can see the sap yeah. secondaries going off on the uh, Nevsky. But Citadel the there. Uh, Ooh, good and loot. Golden Lion, yeah. Absolutely obliterated by the Ohio. Oh, yep. the Torps ran out. Napoli's on 2K. He took one <laughs> Torp in the butt, and he's now flooding, and his rudder might be stuck, too. He might have just gotten Bismarcked. Got a heal running. Golden Lion's taking salvos from the center as well. I, I still think it might. I don't know. 600, 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> And hey, there he goes. That'll that was a vor, that was a vor kill. So it's actually, um, yep. Got a little bit of time left to go over and watch the golden lion die. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's a that's a kind of a sad death pick, but it, it is a death pick nonetheless. And so. that means that Asia joins NA in the circle of no longer in. <laughs> the circle of no longer in <laughs> second place eu taking down first place asia asia that's right so now it's between eu and cis 